So one of my biggest struggles being a part of this community is managing my money in a way where I can afford both VV NFTs and the OMI token. So that being said, I'd like to introduce you all to the first official partner of this channel, Uthrive. Uthrive is an app that allows you to optimize your credit card use to maximize profits. On average, most people using credit cards are missing out on at least $500 a year. You don't have to pay for anything at all. Before you make any purchase you normally make using your credit cards, Uthrive will analyze your purchase in seconds and tell you which of your credit cards will give you the highest cash back and reward saving you hundreds of dollars a year doesn't matter if you're grocery shopping getting gas or planning a trip anytime you spend money save money with you thrive yo what's going on y'all i'm cavell anderson and we're back with another vv and ecomi video in this one we're going to be checking out a video from a content creator in the community and he's actually going to be breaking down some of the things that he feels that ecomi and vv needs to actually develop nft games and i guess this is coming from some big person in the gaming community or something like that so yeah we're gonna jump into that but before we do i wanted to address a comment comment of the day on um, from the last video somebody commented on that video they said something along the lines one guy invested four thousand dollars into um vv that doesn't give them any credibility now if you're looking for things like that for credibility for vv you're way out of touch with what's going on here vv has had credibility from the beginning the second that i looked on this app saw batman and saw that it was officially licensed from warner brothers like that was that was the end of that like there there was no credibility needed like only only complete morons can come to the con conclusion that vv is a scam or, or this or that when they're partnered with some of the biggest brands in the world so let me get this straight disney the united states government um marvel um dc james bond all the biggest companies in the world got it wrong about vv they did their research they they hired their lawyers they're sitting here you're telling me the greatest minds in our world are meeting with vv making deals with vv they have their lawyers and, and all these different types of teams looking into vv looking into david looking into dan and you're the one who spotted something that everyone else missed i mean People be telling me I have an ego. Like it's crazy. The like it's crazy the conclusions that people are coming to as if you don't. It's like I have an ego based off the fact that I've done research and I'm usually right because I am a great researcher. I I, I come up with stuff that makes sense. It doesn't even make sense that you're the one person who sees something that all Marvel's lawyers can't see. Could these be the greatest con artists in in human history? Absolutely, they could easily be the greatest con artists in human in history but they have a business track record. Like this is kind of, like, this is one of those cons where if it's a con, nobody will ever see it coming. So you just sitting here being skeptical for the sake of being skeptical. It's not like you're right. It's just, you're skeptical about anything. So if something goes wrong, as long as you're skeptical about any and everything, one of your skepticisms is going to eventually become true. I mean, it's just that simple. So yeah, um, this VV, VV has already uh, has already proved all it, all that it needed to prove, and then, now that it's finally been able to um do the cash outs and stuff like that, KYC. I mean, there ain't really nothing to really debate or talk about at this point. They they're delivering. They're constantly delivering now. So, I mean, it is what it is. P it, like people are getting used to the timelines. Those of us who have been here, we know that things are going to take time. People are starting to realize just how long it's going to take. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, let me know what you all think, though. Um, but we're going to jump into it. Um, tech executive tech executive revealed the missing piece that Vivian Nikomi needs to do to develop NFT games. So we're going to see what this is about. Drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And yeah, let's get it, y'all. What's up, you guys? This video is a section from my latest interview with Saxon Tawai. He's a double Donny owner. Yes, the NFT that has a price of $100,000. He's a specimen collector. An oh, he's a double Donny owner? I didn't even know somebody like that was in this community. I ain't gonna lie to you. An actor, a stunt double, a martial artist. And most importantly for this video, Saxon used to own a boutique game publishing company. So he has his insider perspective into the gaming industry. So I asked him a few questions related to gamification in VV. I love his answer, so I want to share with you guys right away if you find it helpful please give this video a like hit the subscribe button and let me know what you think in the comment section below let's get to it how do you see the future of gamification on vv is that something possible is that doable and is that even the future of nft yes i i believe it's the future is that what even am i seeing what is this somebody in the vv community must have made this that's crazy bro what is this footage right here this actually looks like some stuff that you would see on Vivi for sure. Like that's crazy. the future of NFT. 
yes, I, I believe it's the future. But also, right, there, there, there is also gaming is a very tough ecosystem to crack, right? Anybody who's in the gaming world will know that it's not easy to make a game that everybody wants to play. Right. And you've seen a lot. So you've seen a lot of big companies that have had like their massive hits, you know, um, and, you know, Candy Crush, Angry Birds and all that. But it's very hard to sustain that momentum, right? It's very hard to come out with another game another game and then bro if, like th like i'm listening to what he's saying but this this i have never seen this before fam i've never seen this so this this freaking gameplay in the background that is fire like that is fire but i mean yeah it's pretty sick it's i ain't gonna lie to you it's pretty sick but are they racing in actual cars like i don't understand how to work in augmented reality it's one thing virtual reality and stuff like that but augmented reality are you really going to be sitting here running and stuff like how how does that how does it actually work or yeah that's the weird thing because you're you have to really be looking at this stuff so that means to race down the street you would have to be running or something or driving and that wouldn't necessarily be safe so yeah i don't know like anyway anyway this is completely off the topic and to create that demand for long periods of time so I think VV has all of the right partnerships um, to create a great game, but it's going to be tough. If, if VV just wants to develop a game ecosystem on their own, it's very tough to make something like that successful. I think what they should look And also, <clears throat> he, he, he's bringing up a lot of good points. But what you have to understand as well is that it's not a just, VV is not just about it being a game. It's about it being a community, an ecosystem. And it's the, currently the only NFT ecosystem with all these different brands involved in it. So you have your Disney's, you have your, um, your Spider-Man's, you have all of this stuff that can be within a metaverse. And in this metaverse, you can just have mini games. You could just have tic-tac-toe, but put some of these characters' faces on it instead or something like that. Put their faces on the pieces or like just just like some simple mini games and then an ecosystem and environment you have land you have buildings and events going on like it doesn't necessarily have to be a game like that's not really what a metaverse is all about it's going to be hugely gamified it's going to gamification is going to be massive in in a metaverse but the metaverse itself can still do well even without just a crazy triple a type game it, it can still do very very well simply because as long as there's enough experiences in it um, so with, with just the right mini games or the ability for the fans to create their own mini games, because I would be creating a bunch of escape rooms. You already know this. So me just being able to get on, create escape rooms and stuff like that. And then I offer up, like, let's say I want to start offering up very, very valuable collectibles. Like if somebody lets me, um, like, like somebody wants to, wants to auction off a Donnie or something, um, who supports the channel or something. So I'll put that at the end of my level. Everybody's going to want to be on that because you have the chance to win a hundred K like, so the stuff like that, events like that, and it's always going to be something somewhere in the VV verse that's hot. And no matter who's doing well, yes, some people might be doing well if a lot of people are at your area. So you're going to be getting paid right then and there, but no matter who wins, if you're an Omi token holder, you win like we all win <laughs> like we we all are gonna win because at any any anywhere in the v-verse that does well so let's say one person in the v-verse is friends with like all the famous people so they're bringing in snoop dogg 50 cent um like jeff bezos like they're bringing in a bunch of random people and having events with these people while that may not be benefiting me the event itself is going to benefit me as an omi holder so i mean really no matter which way you spin it like this is a easy win for everybody involved but gamification to actually be a contender with things like fortnite and roblox it is going to take a lot more look at and of course i'm just i'm just a fan right i'm not i'm not a i'm not an executive at VV, but just based off of what i've seen in the, in the ecosystem i think it would be smart for vv now that they have a big load of cash to look at acquisitions right mm -hmm. you look at what you look at what um Disney is doing, right? Like, Disney doesn't make their own games, right? Because it's so hard. Right. Uh, even all of these big companies, I mean, a lot of them don't make their own games. So it's it's going to be in the partnerships, in the future partnerships. 
and maybe even in acquisitions, right? Facebook, to me, let's take a prime example, Facebook. They're not, to me, Facebook is not a innovative. They're not an innovation company, right? I mean, the idea of Facebook was actually stolen and Instagram was bought, right? So they have these really, but they're very powerful companies, right? And so I feel like, at this time during the bear market, you're going to see a lot of companies that are struggling now because it's a bear market. VV has this mass exposure to uh, an even bigger, a bigger crowd than most of these Web3 companies, right? So if they can take the cash that they have now and look at some of these Web3 companies on sale that are innovating at a high pace, they could, they could buy up the next, you know, the next big thing in this, in this ecosystem. So it might not be trying to make it your own, but purchase a company that has already got that innovative experience and talent. They can take you to the next level, right? Look at what what Nike did, right? They bought Artifact. Like Nike, yeah. Nike wasn't. Yeah, you have a you have a Clonex. Yeah, Nike wasn't about that game of hey, we're gonna build our own metaverse and we're gonna be the next big thing. They're like, okay, we see this company in its infancy stages innovating at such a high pace they're going to be the next big thing and it's being able to recognize these companies right and so when nike bought out artifact you already know that nike's going to be a, be a big player in the space and they're going to they're going to dominate the fashion industry right and so it's just like vivi like vivi i don't think he brings up an excellent point and an excellent perspective i think that that's definitely something that needs to be done um it needs to be done for sure um it's going to be interesting to see which route they actually choose to take but i don't know if they are innovative or if they can continue to be innovative and just go all the way there like that would take like i mean david used a visionary but it's going to take like a serious visionary and i mean david you has so far proven to be that um but yeah I mean, it is like it is going to be easier to just work with other companies to accomplish some of this stuff to do these things. So, yeah, I mean, I mean he brings up an amazing point. Like they probably should, but David, you also said that they were looking at acquiring some companies. So, I mean, th that that's already on their mind. So maybe they're looking at this the same way already. They just haven't found the right company in the right situation that they can actually afford right now. So they should try so hard to develop their own metaverse and gaming ecosystem, but partner slash acquire and one of the things that uh al khan said and he said this a while back right he said he's working with niantic or i don't think he said niantic but he said we're working with the guys who created pokemon Go, right he said something yeah. like that right so if that is niantic i'm super bullish i'm super bullish because i already know that niantic has a working product that everybody has everybody likes they have the, the fan base. And so a partnership with Niantic to create some kind of a game, whether it's a Marvel Mighties game or Pokemon game or whatever it is, you know, I think that's, that would be a very smart move. So I think partnerships is key and acquisitions will be key uh, for VB to to bring this to the masses. That is it, you guys. Let me know in the comment section below whether you like the idea of Vivi doing merger and acquisition to develop video games. I would love to get your opinions. And also remember to give this video a like and hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on the actionable and valuable insights brought to you by Vivi's experts and biggest wells that will help you to make the best decisions. <clears throat> yeah, so that's dope. A lot of information in this one. A, lot, a great perspective, unique um, take. I've never heard it broken down like that and, and put like that. So yeah, shout out to um shout out to dude. Um definitely appreciate it. I didn't know he was even in this community. So yeah, like it, it's nice seeing some people that I, I've never heard from before and the content actually being very, very good. So let me know your thoughts on it. What did you all think? How do you all feel about that? Um drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.